I'm interested in combining organic forms and geometric patterns in kind of an environment of moving elements, still elements, uh, mechanical elements that drive other moving systems and sculptures. I'm Jack Pavlik. I make moving sculpture. You know, I find myself more and more often saying moving sculpture. The term kinetic is, it's kind of an anachronism. It, you know, it refers to a type of sculpture that came out of the early part of the 20th century. And if you say it, you sound like you're, you know, you're jumping into the Wayback Machine. So I, I often use the term moving sculpture rather than kinetic. My most recent exhibition was uh, in Northeast Minneapolis at Gallery 122. Um, it's a very nice, intimate space. I think it's well suited to my work, and I've really enjoyed setting up the show there. The title of this piece is Four Bands. Uh, this was made in 2009, and it was a sculpture that was first exhibited at the Minneapolis Institute of Arts. So I use very simple titles. These sculptures are really ba very basic formal exercises and uh, it's a sculpture that involves the use of flexible material and uh, constructed steel framework essentially to hold the moving mechanism and to hold the organic flowing structure. This is a body of work that I've been exploring for about 10 years and I'd say the inspiration is this idea that I want to merge uh, a moving structure with a mechanical structure. It's kind of a metaphor for people's relationship with the modern world. This sculpture is called 12 Bands, and this was a piece where I wanted to create uh, two layers of movement. The sculpture has a number of different levels to it. So I try and think, you know, what makes a, su a successful moving piece? Uh, it's, it's something where the experience isn't over, you know, in 10 or 15 seconds. It's something that it takes a while to understand. My studio is in the Northrop King Building in Northeast Minneapolis. I think it was about 15 years ago, I was uh, spending time with a friend of mine, and he pulled a saw out from underneath my coffee table and he started playing it like a folk musician. And I just saw that and I said, you know, I, I really need to make a moving sculpture that somehow uses that merging of, you know, controlling a piece of flexible steel and at the same time making sound out of it. I think uh, the saw was a starting point, but when I started to actually work with industrial materials like the spring steel and the machine mechanisms to drive uh, that flexible material, I think uh, it's become kind of a compulsion to find different ways of moving the material and maybe presenting the movement in different ways. The sculpture is six bands from 2003, and uh, it was in this sculpture that I started to explore the relationship a little more closely of the movement of the material as it needs to be balanced with the mechanical or the geometric structure of the framework that holds the piece. Now this piece does go through a uh, sounding cycle. It uses a programmable logic computer. Uh, right now it's in a quiet period, but there's also an incidental effect, something I didn't notice at first, that this material as it's moved also makes some very faint trilling sounds, and that's something that, that viewers notice as they get engaged with the piece. When I'm developing a sculpture, uh, my process involves 
taking a piece of the spring steel and sometimes I'll start just by holding it in my hands and seeing what kind of motion can be created and uh, you know things are very fluid when you're holding even a piece of uh, you know rigid material in your hands. Initially, it was the sound that drew me into making the sculptures, but uh, at this point, it's really the motion that I can make and the overall effect of uh, multiple layers of, of different moving elements that really continue to interest me in making this type of work. I'm an artist because I, I enjoy making this work. I guess I, I've enjoyed exhibiting. Uh, I've enjoyed some of the awards that I've gotten, but really I think something that I've enjoyed the most is just the ability to keep making better work, and that's, that's something I, I hope I'll always have. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the Citizens of Minnesota. <laughs>